Yes, sir. You're looking at two different food service companies. We do the same thing. Join the team, man. What up, ATV gang? Welcome to the channel. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment. You already know I appreciate your support. Hey, look, man, shout out to all the new subscribers out there. Appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Checking in, tapping into the channel, man. Look, a ton of food service drivers, new food service drivers have got into the game, man. Listen, y'all went crazy on uh, a couple of videos ago. I posted and I mentioned in the video, I was like, man, if you just starting food service or if this your first week, second week, third week, let me know, represent your company, drop it down in the comment section. And a bunch of you guys have gotten into the game, man. So, you know what that tells me? That tells me that a lot of you guys have ignored the noise when it comes to food service. You know, a lot of times, you know, people have their own opinions about the food service industry, the type of work we do. And, uh, you know, I feel like that could be discouraging hearing some of those things if you're really interested in getting into food service. I think some of those things can deter you from taking advantage of this opportunity. Particularly if you're a new CDL driver, you just got your CDL license and you want to stay local or even if you want to go regional like me, right? I'm going two nights a week, not bad. But um, if you're a new driver, zero experience, getting into food service, in my opinion, it's not the worst thing in the world. There are a lot of other local jobs out there that you can do that you may not necessarily make as much money. Again, that's if you don't have any experience. If food service is something that you're interested in getting into, you wanna make some good money, like I say all the time, you don't mind working hard because it is a tough job, but it could be a very rewarding job. You see other people in the food service game outside of myself that have YouTube channels. It's a bunch of channels now that's starting to come up and I like seeing that, man. That should give a lot of you new guys motivation. You can see what other new guys are doing. Some of these people that are starting channels now, some of them are new, right? So for me, if I was new, I think that that would give me a little motivation to want to get into this game as well. If I see somebody else new that's doing the same thing that I want to do, I know it can be done, right? And so, yeah, man, I'm just here to really just motivate you guys, man, because it's so much negativity around this job that it's just mind blowing sometimes with some of the stuff that I read. Not only in the comment section on my channel, but other people's channels as well. And you know, you always gonna have trolls and people that just, you know, they live for saying negative stuff about anything. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta block out the noise, man. And then just do whatever it is that you feel like you wanna do. And so, look, you can do it. This job is not the hardest thing in the world, man. We literally loading a hand truck with cases, going down the ramp or coming down the lift gate. 
but at the end of the day, we are still all putting cases on the dolly and running them inside the customer. Even if you're not coming down the ramp 100% of the time, when you drop the load coming off the lift gate, you still got to run it inside of the customer, right? Got to down stack the pallet and still load them on the dolly. So you're still using that two that two wheeler, that hand truck, that dolly, whatever you want to call it. You're still having to use that. But um, that's something that we all have in common. Still got to use that two wheeler, man. But again, guys, like I said. You can do it. It's not the hardest thing in the world. There are people out there doing much harder jobs than what we're doing and getting paid less money. If you a new CDL driver, I believe that you really should consider food service at least as an option, all right? Look, man, that's all I wanted to tell you guys today. Hope you have a good day today. All the new food service drivers out there that just started, Shout out to all y'all, man. Hang in there and keep it pushing, man. Keep it pushing. Hey, look, I'm gonna get ready to go in here and get out of this heat. I'll catch up with you guys on the next one, man. Y'all take care.